Good morning, good morning, good morning, folks. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels, and yes, we're going to that horrible world known as the JRC, but before we do, the usual disclaimers. In the description box, folks, you're going to see the link to the article the JRC does not want you to read. It is written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by autistics for autistics, in this article, they interviewed and surveyed over 900 ABA professionals from all over the world in regards to Judge Rotenberg Educational Center, quote-unquote, insanity they call a behavioral treatment modification program. They don't, now folks, because they are so threatened by this article, the JRC has threatened them with a defamation lawsuit if they did not turn it, take that article off the website. Sorry, I'm not awake. Not at all. So, Neuroclastic has, of course, refused. Fuck you, JRC. And so, folks, please click on that link, read it, share on all your social media. We also got in their, their public statement on the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as their GoFundMe. Guys, if you can give anything, please do. They, they barely bring in over $10,000 a year, okay? All right. We also have the links in regards to the Agape boarding school situation that we've started to cover on this channel. And yes, after probably my afternoon exercise, after hitting the tanning beds, I am going to come back here and go ahead and do the next video on that situation. We're going to continue to dig up more evidence. It's going to take a little bit more research than the JRC. We don't have a massive archive on this one quite yet. So we'll be vetting on that. Look out for that. And please go to those links so you can see what's going on and why we got to shut the Agape boarding school the fuck down. <sighs> okay, anyways. I You'll also see the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, speaking of, as well as the templates, you know the drill, sign your name, click on your senator, and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. Folks, when we discuss the JRC, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you do got young children present, please, guys, use your headphones, all right? Okay, it is 9.22 a.m. in the morning. I am obviously not awake, so if I stumble over my words, apologies in advance, all right? So, where we left off yesterday, please grab your Tommy calming tea. We're about to get into some word salad level fuckery that would make Elaine blush. The June report claims that the education program is organized around the elimination of problem behaviors largely through punishment, including the use of delayed punishment practice. That's because it is. Your whole system is designed around punishment. But 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 we give them rewards when, when they don't do the behavior. Again, you're centering it around negative behaviors. This is not accurate. The opposite is true. The elimination of problem behaviors is largely done through positive programming. Positive programming is used at first approach to treatment and works with about 50% of the JRC students. So you mean your token program where you treat us like fucking performing seals? You get a gold coin! Go enjoy the ball pit, you 21-year-old! Fuck me. Aversives are added as a supplement to positive programming if and when the positive programming alone proves to be insufficiently effective. Hmm, if that's the case, dare I see. But then why the fuck do you not seem to understand positive behavioral reinforcement? Because you don't know what the fuck you're doing at all. 
your focus is on the negatives. It's about eliminating behaviors. That is all. You do not teach them alternative behaviors to replace the bad ones, quote unquote. You do nothing but wait to punish them and oh, if they don't do the behavior, they get a fucking cookie. Seriously? It's a joke and it's a bad one. All your fucking programs are designed around punishment. You literally provide them there as a detriment, you know, because spanking worked so well. Have you seen my generation? We're fucked in the head, okay? Sam. Delayed punishment practices are only used with approval of the clinician when there is a clear therapeutic value. JRC's treatment program maintains a high ratio of rewards to any other kinds of consequences. You're still not fucking getting it. Do you understand how dehumanizing this entire system of behavior modification is by itself? By itself! folks. When you use the right to food and call it a reward, or going to the bathroom and you call it a reward, or them going and being able to enjoy a hobby, a reward. When we give all this shit to neurotypical kids for nothing, even when they act up? Do you not see what's going on here? Can you not see? Do you not understand how dehumanizing and humiliating this is? Because that's what it is. It means that you are training me like a fucking dog. By the way, dogs shouldn't be treated this way either. You don't want to get me on that fucking subject. You are treating me as less than a fucking animal. And it's disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. The whole concept behind their program there is no soft approach to it, folks. Not really. Because essentially, it is trying to drill our disability out of us. You cannot change someone's neurology with a behavior modification program. It's never going to fucking work. All you're going to do is make us hate ourselves and burn out at earlier and earlier and earlier earlier fucking ages and there are consequences that come with that burnout folks okay real physical ones but sorry that's my rant on ABA the fact of the matter is, as bad as all ABA is, yes, all ABA, yes, every single fucking time, yes, even positive behavioral reinforcement, it might be slightly better than their crack cuckoo for Cocoa Puff shit, but it's still dehumanizing and humiliating as fuck. We'll get into that another day. They don't understand. They don't even follow the basic tenets of the therapies that they're saying they're engaging in. They're not. A token program is not positive behavioral support. It's not. It runs off a completely different philosophy. And these people don't fucking get it. It is a treatment program. It is meant to be used on its own. Jeez. 
God. Is, is there a brick wall? I feel like I need that brick wall meme. But moving on. JRC's educational software is configured to reward the students automatically at the end of each lesson or when they have not met their aim. Students can either earn a token or a reward of their choice using the reward menu that the software presents as a reward. All JRC software programs are designed to give positive feedback for correct responses through audio feedback and vis or visual feedback. Oh, you mean when you pat them on the back, like, continuously? You use those fucking monotone things that NSAID talked about in their report? Good responses! Good talking! You mean that continuous bullshit noise you have your teachers doing while walking up and down the desks? Because I'd rather be fucking shot. You can keep your fucking compliments, JRC. I'd rather be shot. All programs are configured to the individual needs, including teaching methods that are most rewarding and effective for them. You mean the fact that, like most special ed, you think they're too stupid to fucking learn. Because guess what? And said, has proven, as well as other school districts, that you have continued to fail to meet federal requirements for your school programs for fucking years. These students aren't reaching where they need to reach. They're not. Oh, but we but we make them wrap popsicle sticks. What the fuck am I supposed to learn from that? Really? Oh, and here we go with the high functioning goddamn uh, great, great. The high-functioning students can earn games or points for mastering a lesson. Lesson. Oh, yippee! Fuck me. Do I get a cookie too? The software through the means of the reward menu enables JRC staff to find out exactly what is rewarding to each student and lets the student earn it through academic progress. Again, I'll say it again, you're treating us like fucking animals, and if you can't see it, you're blind. We shouldn't have to earn the right to do things that we enjoy that neurotypical kids are just fucking given. Like food, going to the bathroom, engaging in hobbies, going on field trips. Neurotypical kids do not have to earn their right to these privileges, folks, quote unquote. So why do we have to do it? Well, it teaches you how to behave. Behave like what? Like you? I've said it before and I've said it again. I've been a people watcher from a young age. And I got to tell you, these neurotypicals that you're trying to force us to be like don't hit your romanticized idea of normal either. They're a mess. And if you don't believe me, turn on your evening news. I'm going to go ahead and close out on that note. We don't get very many views on this channel, especially on this subject. A few that we do get due to get, get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time this morning. As always, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.